is that? <gasps> Dude, what is that? After the Chernobyl incident, radiation resulted in werewolves, a hemorrhaging elephant's foot, and crazy mutated animals. As this video is going to reveal some shockingly strange discoveries of Chernobyl's catastrophe. Piled up creepy dolls. Ever seen a room full of Annabelles? Here you go. A room flooded with all kinds of creepy broken dolls. They even look like they are talking with their eyes. Eyes! Big scary eyes! I dare they look possessed and being radioactive, they might be. Pripat is seen piled up with all kinds of terrifying dolls. There were dolls at windows, bed frames, some were even propped up with gas masks. To some extent, these dolls are believed to be set up by tourists, because of course, a ghost town without old scary dolls is surely incomplete. The Abandoned Carnival A horror movie is no fun without a creepy clown roaming around in the carnival. Just five days before the Chernobyl disaster happened, a carnival was put together in Pripyat to light up on May 1st, 1986, with all the hustle and bustle. Some dreams are too scary to come true. This might be the first ever carnival that got famous without getting into motion. The deadliest Chernobyl blast left the carnival deprived of the celebration it deserved, with a giant Ferris wheel, old bumpy cars, broken swing sets, and a rusty merry-go-round that smells of toxic radiation. Pripyat people clearly could not enjoy the carnival, but overgrown vines and algae sure did. Abandoned Church Freakishly beautiful, this church smells of cleanliness despite being abandoned. After 36 years, this church is still a treasure of antique artifacts from the Soviet era. The possessions are excellently put intact for the visitors. From the architect to everything that's present in the church is attention grabbing. Although it is far from the Chernobyl nuclear zone, it was evacuated due to harmful radiation. But good thing someone is looking after this beauty. Abandoned houses. What's that one thing you wouldn't leave your house without? Sadly, Chernobyl residents were not even blessed with this choice after the disaster. After the blast, there was chaos all around. To save life, people had to leave their houses behind in a huff. These houses vibe in an aura of sadness and panic. What a devastating day it would have been for people living there. Imagine people living here, planning for the future, building up their career and kids growing up, and suddenly it is gone, doomed in the deepest of radioactive rays. No doubt the walls are screaming with the happiest of memories. The Hospital of Death this could be the perfect spot for shooting a blockbuster horror movie. I mean, look at the hospital. It's old, creepy, and a perfect amount of scary. Hospitals are meant to save lives. Who would have thought they could be deadliest too? When the blast occurred, this was the hospital where injuries were brought to, which is now left abandoned due to being highly radioactive. The radiation here is 4,000 times more than actual. The number is crazy, man! The basement of the hospital is piled with uniforms of borderline workers. Kind of strange place to dump waste. Rusty cribs, dirty mattresses, and haphazardly thrown band-aids make this place even more dangerous with all the contamination. Abandoned School A school with unlimited holidays? What a cliché! This school was once used to echo with cries and laughter of the little ones. Previously, there were 15 primary schools, five high schools, and a professional school. But when the city of Pripyat was ordered to be evacuated, these valuable treasures were abandoned. Sheesh! To see the sadness that has become a part of these schools. It is bizarre. This school has lost many great scientists, doctors, or perhaps engineers. These lifeless schools are now being added to the series of ghost town stories. The kids must miss their old school. When all grown up, maybe any one of them will visit this place out of nostalgia. Creepy Jail I used to think it's tough to be a cop. Didn't know it demands a lot more than just being on the tougher end. This is the story of heroic policemen. 
On the night of the nuclear reactor explosion, the police station was caught under fire, and later an explosion was reported as well. This out-of-the-blue mishap, on top of the actual one, led to the decision where the police station was evacuated. But these tough guys were not ready to give up yet. They guard the city so well that within a day or two, the convicts were arrested, even though they had to leave the police station abandoned in exchange for their lives. The Claw of Death after discovering this dumped radioactive crane claw out of nowhere in the woods of Pripyat, some officials still managed to get their hands on it. As soon as the news got out, tourists came in for their research. Dude, people these days are really into weird hobbies, ain't they? The story unwinds that this very crane claw was the piece of large machine that was used to remove the waste from the nuclear reactor explosion and later dump so nobody could find this highly contaminated object, which is not the case here. You see how these sneaky tourists are getting so close to this highly radioactive claw? Should I say daring or stupid? I feel just contaminated watching it. Russian Woodpecker While the woodpecker itself is not a very ordinary bird, the Russian woodpecker is something beyond it. This is Duga, an over-the-horizon Russian radar pulled off in a massive structure that's about 146 meters high. The radar system is associated with a transmitter and receiver. This is mainly for receiving signals. The question is, why is it called woodpecker? A certain modification in the system led to a sharp repetitive tapping noise of approximately 10 hertz. What a marvelously structured machinery, even with an annoying sound producing mechanism. Control Room of Reactor 4 This is what history freaks were waiting all along for the Chernobyl accident. After the Ukrainian allowed tourism, a number of companies were allowed to visit the control room of Reactor Number 4, where the world's most devastating nuclear disaster occurred. Who wouldn't want to miss out on it? The entry is only allowed to be escorted by proper personnel protective equipment. Protective suits, helmets, and masks to avoid exposure to radiation beyond the average limit. Keeping this in mind, the visiting time is not more than five minutes, followed by a mandatory radiology test right after the visit. Death or glory, make a choice. The Elephant's Foot Just standing by the wrong kind of rock can kill you. Yes, you heard me right. Due to some design flaws, two steam explosions occurred inside the reactor. The rise in temperature caused the nuclear fuel to melt down. It didn't just stop there, but continued to melt until it reached the bottom of the reactor vessel, forming an amalgam of nuclear fuel, control rods, sand, glass, and concrete. And there you go, the elephant foot, filled with radioactive radiation to melt you down out of existence. If you stand for just a minute near this thing, Consider your fate sealed with death. A big nod to whoever took this picture. The Ghosts This is going to give you Silent Hill vibes. In 1997, a nuclear physicist, Andrei Karasakov, happened to have a ghostly experience. He went to the power station to examine radiation when he heard loud screams coming from fire inside the reactor number four. Not sure about how successful his nuclear examination went, but this paranormal encounter was hella real. Because according to Karasakov, how can someone get inside without a password and a handprint? Maybe it's someone who died in the nuclear blast, became a ghost, and now is crying for help. Question is, did he save that crying ghost? Chernobyl horror stories are everywhere on the internet, and people are crazy to know more about them. Some say the ghosts have been mutated, while others say that the radiation is what keeps them alive. I don't know, but can radiation affect ghosts? The Bloody Red You say red berry orchids, I say bloody red forest. Well, this is the area that caught most of the radiation. It not only looks creepy, but is actually deadliest to even walk without proper precautions. The trees got barren after embracing a bright orange color. It has been declared as the most radioactive area in the world, since there's no clue of plants found anymore. Whoa, 
Can you see the red pine needles? I bet you this must be the radiation. The forest became more of a graveyard when in 2015 a fire broke out, polluting the area with Russian soldiers stayed in the red forest for a month. Can you believe it? A whole month of inhaling toxicity. These soldiers are either made up of some magic cells or they simply carry a wish to die a traumatized death. The Bridge of Death the bridges are famous for being built on a river, surrounded by railway tracks or having an iconic design. Let me show you all a bridge where the souls of many happy faces linger over. This is the Bridge of Death, where people stood admiring the nuclear meltdown, unaware of being soaked in radiation, while they shared laughter and their children chasing the snowy ash of radioactive waste. They didn't know their happy ending would turn into agonizing deaths. I imagine this is how tragedy would taste like. Radiation Eating Fungus The world we live in is crazy. There was fungus discovered feeding and growing increasingly on nuclear radiations. Interestingly, some scientists even claim that this fungus possibly can help us survive in space. After years of disaster, the walls of nuclear reactor number four were found covered with radiotropic fungus. Apparently, this fungus was using these radioactive rays as a source of energy. Imagine if we can use it as an efficient source of producing electricity. Not a bad idea, right? USSR Propaganda Turns out the Chernobyl disaster is not only about death, sadness, and toxic radiation, it contributes in bringing down a whole anti-US propaganda. You would be shocked to know that the city of Pripyat was found immersed in Soviet propaganda. The propaganda itself was not shocking, as Russia was still the Soviet Union when this incident took place. The amount of propaganda is. The city was legit stocked up with posters, books, flyers, and you name it. There was everything. There was a room full of their posters. Who knows what they were up to? Silhouettes of Missing Town People Memories stay forever. People don't. Looks like these artists are trying to portray something the same. Regardless of toxic radiation, some brave graffiti artists from Germany and Belarus put on their weapons to draw these beautiful silhouettes in the memory of those who once used to live there. A little girl whose bright youth is completely leaked into the disease. Three friends who once promised to stay together for a lifetime. And an innocent toddler dragging his toy truck. Poor souls. These silhouettes sure do justice with the lives of those extinguished from this beautiful town. A room filled with gas masks. Gas masks are supposed to provide protection from harmful inhalation. Let's flip the coin with these radioactive gas masks. A primary school's cafeteria was discovered with plenty of gas masks. Looks like a pool of gas masks to me. The size of the gas mask indicates that they were kept hidden for children but the gamma rays certainly didn't want to make that happen, as they were only designed to protect against alpha and beta rays. The Chernobyl seemed to be armed up against any potential nuclear attack, owing to the fact that they used to keep gas masks in public places and train their kids at schools on how and when to use these masks. Honestly, by the time my lungs get messed up from all the radioactive gas mask talk, let's move on towards our next discovery. Thriving Wildlife The Chernobyl disaster is a lesson for mankind. It makes you wonder how the Earth would be without humans. After 35 years when the radiation is not that effective, a breeze of healthy wildlife is spotted with thick green trees all around. While Chernobyl is still a danger zone for humans, animals have found their way to Chernobyl in awe of living a peaceful life there. The Chernobyl tragedy looks like a gift to animals. Lynx, deer, wolves, horses are wandering today in the exclusive zone, which has now become the third largest reserve in Europe. 50,000 people used to live there. Now it's a zoo full of healthy wildlife. Moral of the story, less human, the better world. Tourist attraction. I don't know what to call it, a weird obsession with toxic radiation or death. Anyways, what's inside Chernobyl has always been a hot topic for people. 
After videos of Chernobyl got viral over the internet, people went crazy to know more about it, or even go there for a tour by themselves. Um, historically, it could be important, but not at the risk of getting oneself killed. But it seems like Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky didn't mind it. He actually announced plans to open up the area for tourism. According to him, the site portrays the negative side of Ukraine, which will be balanced out after keeping the site open to tourists. A visit to Chernobyl could be the perfect mix of vacation, fun, and exposure to deadliest diseases. Today's open discussion is about a priest who went missing after the Chernobyl incident. Local people started claiming that the radiation distorted the man beyond recognition, and then suddenly, this picture started circulating on the internet. Now, we have no idea if this is the same priest or not, but let's just hope he ended up being fine and not something demonic like this man with a weird face. Canteen. Salt, pepper, and a whole lot of toxic radiation blended together. Whoa, your Chernobyl plate is served. <laughs> just kidding. The food is anti-radioactive, the exclusion zone of Pripyat has now been open for researchers and scientists to study the after-effects of nuclear blast. The place also welcomes tourists to visit and document the unseen discoveries of Chernobyl. And what a great opportunity to make some cash! Therefore, locals from the nearby area have built this canteen to serve the visitors with a variety of menu, from vegetables to pastas, cakes, porridge, and a lot more. I don't know what kind of ingredients they are using, but would you dare tasting their pasta? Alexander Company This is what happens when you are head over heels in love with your passion. Where some people went out as a tourist to take a sneak peek at Chernobyl, Alexander's company worked officially at the nuclear site. Some of his great work involved Elephant Foot's photograph and the Black Corium. Both of them are kind of fairly death-dealing. Not that I know of how Alexander survived this. Maybe it's just the way God wanted us to see these strange discoveries. Alexander Company is providing photography service and is the happiest to share his work at Chernobyl with the world. Sarcophagus A giant C-shaped roof was built upon the deadly reactor to prevent radiation from leaking. If you are thinking about how they'd have made it just painful, hold on, my friend. The first attempt of engineering was badly defeated when it failed to fulfill its purpose due to poor construction. This masterpiece was redesigned after 20 years to finally be able to hold the radiation. Kudos to everyone involved in the project. But what a cliche for those who aren't happy with this massive accomplishment because now they can't expose themselves fully to the radiation while on a tour to Chernobyl. Old ladies. Would you believe me after knowing how dangerously toxic Chernobyl is, some 130-year-old women are living there? When Chernobyl was evacuated right after the explosion, some bunch of old ladies came here to settle down. Or should I say, super women? Because considering how dangerous it is to live here, who in their right minds would decide to start living in an environment disguised with radiation? A soldier actually tries to warn them, but these savage Bukashkas threaten him to either let them go gun them down. The poor guy gives up and allows them to cross the bushes. These old ladies seem to enjoy living here. I hope Chernobyl radiation gives the lovely lady some slack. Mutated animals where so many lives were taken due to the potential causes of radiation from the Chernobyl incident, some embraced it to form the most fortuitous mutations, leading to a miserable life. The nearby areas of the Chernobyl power station were spotted with oddly mutated wildlife. The mutations were odd enough to put the scientists in shock. Some scientists even captured unusual spider webs and abnormal colored pattern bugs. There were cows seen with extra pair of legs, birds spotted with deformed beaks and dual heads, six-paired leg swans, and animals without an upper jaw. Poor animals. But if life finds its ways, what can we do about it? Apart from these deformities, some of these animals were fortunate enough to survive, while others died out of pain and misery. Fun fact, 
some mushrooms can help themselves to grow by absorbing these radiations. Monotonous fish. Make yourself toxicated so no one would want to bother you. These gigantic catfish took this advice very seriously. They thrived where loads of radioactive material were dumped, but besides adopting any wired mutation, they tend to grow large in size. Now, who in the seven hells would want to trouble these catfish? Nobody, I guess. So they decide to grow. Somewhere between cute and scary, these catfish have become a source of tourist attention. Radioactive Wolves If you fantasize werewolf shows, radioactive wolves are going to sound crazy for you. Are they transformed with some exceptional superpowers? Do they have green eyes? Do they have fangs and claws? Since these radioactive wolves with mutated genes are not only seen roaming in the areas around the nuclear power plant, but seem to have put a foot in the rest of the world. So if you are planning a visit to Chernobyl, make sure it's not a full moon night, as these wolves can spread their mutated gene. Chill out! The spread is only possible for some animals, but have said to take over by the time passes. So should we make up our minds to see a real live werewolf in the future? Well, after seeing these remarkable discoveries from the world's biggest disaster, I suppose the Chernobyl incident was meant to happen, for the world to admire the beauty of nature. And if you are still stuck in the admiration phase, then don't forget to like, comment, and share the video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss out on the upcoming fun content.